Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. In this video we're going to show you how to uh, remove and replace the front grille on this 2000 uh, Lincoln Town Car, same as any 98 to 02. The only tool you'll need is a 11 millimeter wrench um, and possibly a 10 millimeter if you end up breaking a nut or something and you need to uh, replace it. So replacing your grill along with your headlights can help your car go from this to that. Um, nice, clean, takes a lot of miles off the front end, and again, before, and then after replacing your grill and headlights. Okay, to remove the grill, on the back side there's four 11 millimeter bolts. Okay, you can see one right here, um, and then there would be one down lower, and then there'd be two on the other side as well. Okay, I guess you could say I was a little lucky when doing this grill. Um, I've already taken it apart and you can see uh, one, the part of the uh, support, the back support actually snapped off. Okay, I had one break, just the whole stud broke. And then I <laughs> actually had one that I was able to get off. Um, so, but what you want to do is, most likely what's going to happen, this one, um, it turned, and basically what happens is this part right here is what's in the grill and usually that lets go and screws out of the plastic um, before the rusty part will uh, will let go. So basically I, I've already unfastened all this. Um, this this is just kinda stuck in my grill a little bit. So what you want to do is after you've gotten all the uh, bolts either out of the grill or, or they've broken or whatever. Um, you want to push your grill back. Okay, then lift up. And then the whole assembly comes out. Okay, and like I said, as you can see, most of them just kind of pulled out of, and as you can see, most of them just kind of uh, when I unbolted them, they just unbolted from the grill. Okay, and what you can do, you can see I still have one here. If you have vice grips, uh, you can try and grip onto it and get the bolt off from the other side. I was able to do that for one of them, um, but for this one I haven't been able to get it out, so I'm just going to leave it in there. Okay, and because of that, what I've done is I took my new stud out of my new grill, okay? And installing the new grill is pretty much the same. It has these longer locating tabs on it. So you can kind of put it into place. And then on the back side, you can see I got the locating tab through down there, and then the locating tab down here, and then my studs have come through. And now a reverse of the procedure, push it in, down, and underneath, and that's, that's how it locks into uh, the bumper cover here. And now um, on this top one, I can just tighten up the stud and it bites right into the grill. It doesn't have to be extremely tight because it is plastic. And then I have another the bolt that came off, so I'll thread that onto this one down here. Okay, and if you should, you should need uh, to get another bolt, just get one from the hardware store. It's a metric. It's an M6. Uh, by one, which is one thread per millimeter, pretty standard. And I got a little washer too, just to make sure I've got enough. And then tighten up all your bolts, and you're all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. 
please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.